Hello my loves, welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my loves. So Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Virgos, please. What clarity, guidance, and love messages do we have here today? for my oh my virgos please holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity guidance love messages for my virgos please sun moon rising and venus signs so we have the four of swords and the four of cups four of swords and the four of cups clarity guidance love messages for my virgos please holy spirit angel spirits and guides okay so we have the moon, Cancer, Piscean, Energy, and we have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. We have the Seven of Cups, and we have the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages. So we've got the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Energy. And we've got the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. So we have the Nine of Cups in the, um, in the upright, excuse me. And we've got the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Seven of Swords and we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. So Virgo, what I'm feeling here for you... Under the deck, we've got the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. We've got the Page of Cups. We've got the Tower. And we have the Three of Swords. Okay. So what I'm hearing... I can't speak. What I'm hearing for you here, Virgo. Okay. I feel like we're either just coming out of this energy or coming into this energy. With the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups, there's a sense of needing to heal because... Either you offered something to somebody or you were waiting to be offered something. Um, there's a sense of disappointment, a sense of loneliness, emotional dissatisfaction. Um, it's like, again, you were waiting for something to be offered or you offered something to somebody waiting for an answer. And it's like that never came. It never came. OK, um, what I'm feeling here is slowly but surely you're raising your vibration to Empress level. Now, if you're a male, OK, that does doesn't mean it just means that you are coming into this energy of wanting to build wanting to create operating from your higher self um, setting plans setting goals you know you're not you're no longer in that funk you're coming out of it okay operating on a higher vibration now with the queen of cups here cancer scorpio pisces energy i'm feeling that there's a willingness, like there's there's a sense of getting your emotions straightened out and a willingness to start looking to offer your cup somewhere else. Because it looks to me here, see this, this Queen of Cups energy, it's like she's got that arm extended with the cup out. It's like she's looking for someone to hand this cup to, is what I'm seeing here. Now, coming into the present moment, what we have here is a sense of why hasn't this person reached out to me? Why hasn't this person spoken to me? So even though we're coming into this energy where we are moving on and moving forward and, and attempting to operate from our highest self, okay, in the back of your mind here, Virgo, there's still a sense of why isn't this person looking for me? Okay, what are they doing? Why haven't they reached out? Um, you know, with the moon card, there's still a sense of repressed emotion. So there's still feelings for this situation, even though, you know, we're trying to get to that place to move on to offer our cup somewhere else. Now, with the nine of cups and the seven of pentacles in the reverse, there's this sense of, you know, hoping that someone will come in and invest 
but they're not doing that. And there's a sense of why. Why don't they want to invest in me anymore? With the Page of Cups, you may even try to reach out and be like, hey, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's up? What's going on? You may try to even reach out to this person, um, you know, but there's a sense of, you know, why isn't this person talking to me? Why aren't they coming in to apologize to me? Why aren't they coming in to offer me something? Um, it's, it's a sense of like, you know, awaiting a message and it's not coming and there's a sense of why what are they doing right now coming into the near future what i'm feeling here guys is there is a lot of options on the table here for you you guys are looking good feeling good you're confident sexy you know standing in your power and there's a lot of people that are trying to snatch you up okay there's a lot of people that are trying to snatch you up and what i'm feeling here is no matter how much you try to avoid this from happening because somehow some way some shape some form you're you're holding back from these options because in your mind there's still a sense of cheating there's still a sense of you know i don't want to go date or i don't want to go pursue this because you know i don't want to cheat on my person meanwhile this person isn't you know you, you haven't even heard from, they're just you know what i'm saying like they're, they're not even you're still waiting for a message that or like this answer to an offer that's just not coming in like even if this person does speak to you it's a hey what's up what are you doing? How was your day? Or, you know, hey, that picture looked really nice. You know, very small, small talk. That's what it is. So even if this person's talking to you, it's small talk. There's no like conversation that's emotionally fulfilling for you here, Virgo. Okay. So there's the sense now of you putting yourself out there, looking good, feeling good, smelling good. You're confident. People are all over you. And there's still a sense of, oh, I don't, I don't know if I want to meet up just yet. Yet because there you still have this feeling of it's cheating but with the tower and the three of swords it's bound to happen you know what i'm saying so I, one of two things are going to happen here virgo either you're going to have a total and complete nervous breakdown meltdown where all the pain is just going to hit you all at one time when you come to the realization that this isn't going anywhere or it's just going to hit you where you find yourself, you know, um, in a third party. Like you, it breaks your heart, but you go towards a third party just because there's so many options and you're so lonely. Does that make sense? Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify here. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Virgos, please? Holy Spirit, tell me about the Four of Swords for my Virgos, please. The Four of Swords. So we've got um, the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. I feel like you're awakening to the truth of a situation like you are the rose colored glasses are coming off Virgo. Okay. And you're needing to be honest with yourself. And now that, you know, you're being honest with yourself, there's a sense of needing to rest and to heal, to absorb the information, uh, to figure out what to do next. Tell me about the four of cups, the Empress. Yeah. See with the four of cups, Believe it or not, I feel like this rejection or whatever, whatever you were offering that didn't get accepted, it was for your highest good. It is meant to bring you to a higher vibration. It's meant to bring you to be and operate from your highest self. Four of Swords under the deck again. Tell me about this Empress, please. We've got the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Um, I feel here that Virgo, you don't want something to end. You really didn't want it to end, but at the same time, you're accepting that it's not coming together again. Okay. And I feel like there's this sense of, I need to stand tall. I need to stand straight. I need to think about the future. I need to think about goals and I need to get up off this couch and get them to get rolling. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. It may take a while before this happens though. Judgment card in the reverse. I feel like you're not really out to make any quick judgment calls for a while okay for a while so you're you're starting this mental initiative of knowing what path you want to go down but you're not making any firm judgment calls to like start dating someone else or i don't know put single on your status on social media you're not making any huge judgment calls because there's still kind of this hope that maybe someone has feelings and will come in and offer something here queen of cups 
Yeah, see, the death card, scorpionic energy. I feel like there's there's this hope that someone will come in and offer this love, but I feel like the situation is, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a dead issue. Someone here is just not accepting what you're laying down. They're not, you know, you guys are not on the same page, maybe. But again, with every ending brings a beautiful new beginning, and that's why we're stepping into Empress mode. So... The transition is going to suck a little bit, but it's ultimately going to bring you to a higher place. Tell me about the moon. Um, yeah, see the strength card and the seven of swords. There's still this sense of, oh my gosh, are they not, you know, coming towards me because they're cheating and seeing someone else. There's still this like fear, this hidden fear of, oh my gosh, have they replaced me? Okay. Have they replaced me? Tell me about the page of pentacles. We've got the hanged man in the reverse. Yeah, I, I feel like, Virgo, you may not want to wait around anymore. You may actually reach out to this person because you don't know if they've replaced you, if they are withholding from you to go run off and be with someone else. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. I feel like you're trying to find out information. With the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Wands in the reverse, um, I feel like... It's interesting because I feel like you want this person to chase you just so you can shut them down. Do you see what I'm saying? Like you want this person to chase you just so you could say, no, I'm not talking to you with the eight of wands or no, you can't come over. Tell me about the seven of pentacles in the reverse. We've got the world card. Um, but this person's not doing that. They're not putting any work in. They're not investing in this connection anymore because I feel like this is either a karmic cycle that is closing out in your life. Spirit is pushing you to look at these other options. Seven of Cups and Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Yeah, see, the devil in the reverse. Um, I feel like, you know, you're kind of... I feel like you want these messages of love from this person. There's such like mixed emotion here. Like you want this person to come towards you, but then again, you want to leave this toxicity behind. Okay. You want to leave it behind, but at the same time, you still want this person to chase you just so you can not answer or just so you can continue to tell me about the seven of cups and the six of pentacles. Spirit is saying there are other options out there that would be a better balance for you. People that are interested in stability and tradition and marriage and you know even more on a so on a spiritual level and with the ace of swords here there is victory in these other options you will find the one if you pursue these other options um you know there you you know again you've got people coming towards you that are not toxic that are not in this toxic place but there's still the sense of holding on virgo tell me about the queen of wands the nine of cups you are everybody's wish fulfillment there's there's something about you virgo that everybody likes like you know what i'm saying like you know i don't know it, it's like there's there's just something about you for everyone <laughs> you know what i'm saying there's something uh, around you or about your body your personality your face whatever that appeals to just about everybody you know what i'm saying nine out of ten people would date you let's just put it that way okay tell me about the seven of swords yeah the moon um it, there's still this sense of i don't know if i should run off and pursue these options because i don't know if this person's going to come back tell me about the four of pentacles yeah see with the four of pentacles and the four of cups i feel like you're holding back um rejecting what people are offering you because there's this sense of you you know hoping that this will come back together yes yeah, see seven of pentacles you're hoping that someone will invest you're living in the past living in nostalgic moments thinking of the good times okay you're still in your head about this person tell me about the tower we've got the tower in the reverse yeah i feel like it's going to hit you really hard ten of wands virgo i feel like you're going to have like a mini nervous breakdown i'm not going to lie it may happen in the shower hopefully it doesn't happen in public <laughs> you know what i'm saying but i feel like it's going to hit you that this is never coming back together again like really tell me about the three of swords three of cups in the reverse. You're starting to realize here that there is no reconciliation, that nothing is going to make this better, that nothing is going to bring this together. And it's going to hurt. Yeah. It's, it's just going to, it's going to hit you here. The sun card, there's just going to be this light bulb moment, this, this epiphany of 
this is, I'm really never going to be with this person. Like it's really over. I, I feel like you're going to have a little bit of a breakdown here, Virgo. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So what we have happening here is just a major life transition that's happening. It's the, it's the end of a cycle. It's the end of something that you thought was going to come to fruition. Maybe you were hoping to be this person's wife, have this person's children. Maybe you were hoping to be this person's husband because gender doesn't matter here, but you were hoping to, to win a position position next to the throne next to this person and I feel like I feel like you know it's just not coming together the way you want it to and it's going to hit you really hard that this is never going to be what you want it to be even though you have all these options available to you even there are so many that would put you on a pedestal and treat you right there's this one person here Virgo that um it's just going to hit you that it's never going to happen with this person. Spirit, tell me about my Virgos. Yeah, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Flirt. See, you're calling in a soulmate. You're calling in a divine partner. And they're coming in. They're flirting. You have a bunch of people flirting with you. You're just not wanting to see it. Yeah, see, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you very soon clearly decide so uh, very soon clearly decide what what you want so it comes to you now virgo i feel like you're starting to see the red flags it's starting to hit you so you're calling in a soulmate and you've got all these people coming towards you wanting to hit up on you wanting to hit on you wanting to do all, all of a sudden there's this huge influx of people coming towards you and you're trying to look through all these people to look for the person that you really want. And the red flags are smacking you in the face every single day that this person doesn't call or text or tell you, you know what, I can't live without you and I want you and only you. Every day that goes by and those words don't come in, you're it's going to start, you're going to start to realize here that you know, it's not coming together. And that's why it's saying very soon, clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now. You have to make a decision about this ex, this past life relationship. Um, you have to make a decision as to whether or not you want to stick with it. Or if you want to, you know, however way it was before, it was not in a, it was not happening in a way that made you happy or else it wouldn't have ended. So you need to make a decision. If you want this past person you're going to have to take them as is. And if you don't want them, you've got plenty of options flirting with you right now. Okay. But the bottom line is, is you deserve love and you are lovable Virgo. You were not receiving the correct type of love, affection, and respect from this previous person. And that's why I think you stood your ground and you're moving on. But at the same time, it's hitting you you know, when we stand our ground, we ultimately hope that the person comes towards us and changes the situation and fixes it so that we can work it out. But that's not happening. This person's not willing to change and come forward. So, you know, there are plenty of opportunities here, Virgo, for you to choose from. There's plenty of options for you to choose from. But I feel like this particular week, it's really hitting you that out of all of these people giving you attention, the one person that you want to hear from, you're not going to hear from them. Or if you do, it's going to be very, very like small talk and it's just going to hit you. I, I feel like, you know, and, and listen, crying is good. Let those floodgates open, cleanse it from your soul and your system. And when you're done, you've got a line from the, from your front door all the way around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> of people that are trying to date you. So you're going to be all right. Okay. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Bye.